Hi Darkroom Core users, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we're going to learn how to add a graphic logo to a template so every time we print, it automatically adds that logo to the bottom right corner. So we're going to start off in our setup tab. I'm going to go ahead and click on products and services, and then templates, borders. I'm going to add it to sample borders. We'll just put it in the basic group. I'm going to click new. We're going to build a 4x6 um, horizontal. Go ahead and abbreviate that and set the page size. And uh, the description actually does uh, make a difference as uh, if you have two different versions of that template, a vertical and a horizontal version, you can change the HORZ to VERT and it'll automatically choose the correct template based on the orientation of the photo. So that is uh, pretty important, um, the description that becomes the file name. So four by six horizontal and page color will go ahead and leave the same. And we can go ahead and add a photo, click add photo and then click OK. Just leave everything the default. And then I'm gonna click add graphic and then I'm gonna click browse. And this is actually really important. We have um, the logo on the desktop and I can browse to that logo on the desktop. But if I ever move that graphic from that location, the software won't be able to find it and it'll be missing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our X drive and then go to templates, borders, sample borders and then basic because this is where we're going to be saving it let's go ahead and drag this graphic in there so now it's in a permanent location and it's duplicating it because it's driving it dragging it to a virtual drive so um, we'll go ahead and select it in its new location now and then click open and OK and I'm going to use my scroll wheel to make it just a little bit smaller and now that we've got that graphic in, we can actually enlarge the software so it's a little bit easier to, to work. And we will go ahead and save as a new border. And then we just want to save it in that same location. Sample borders um, and then basic. So if we want to make a vertical version, we go through and essentially just modify this template I have uh, changed the name orientation click OK I also moved the graphic over because we can see that it's gonna crop otherwise it'd be off the page so but the logo in the correct location. We always want to keep in mind that uh, with um, our printers there's a little bit of bleed so uh, some of the image actually might be get uh, cut off in printing so we don't want to put it too close to the edge. Next thing we'll do is select our image our photo object and click uh, fill entire page and save as new border and now a description once again becomes the file name so we have a, another instance. So if you're doing 8x10s, 5x7s, 4x6, different or, um, aspect ratios, it's probably a good idea to add a uh, different version of this template for the, um, each aspect ratio because when you print a 8x10, the logo would actually be cut off on the 4x6 and also is a little bit low resolution for that. So that's something to keep in mind. The next thing we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna go to my packages and I have my four by six print. Now I'm gonna double click on this, uh, the uh, print item, and it will pull up the bordered package settings. I'm gonna go ahead and check the option, click choose, and change my group to my sample prints. Under basic, there's my logo template. 
I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So now every time I click that four by six print, it will print with that logo. If the camera is oriented vertically, it'll automatically choose the correct orientation and choose the other template. Um, we can also do this, uh, just to add one more thing onto it, we can also do the same using um, a auto print um, option. So under capture options, tether capture, auto print, I can check this option and click add and Select my 4x6 print and apply the same template. And this way, every time I take a picture, it will automatically print a 4x6 with that logo and once again choose the correct uh, template for the orientation. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching.